Hey there guys, it's your favorite Asian robot. This week I'm gonna kick the ass of the trials. This is the Shadow Touch Drask that you've got. Uh, but I'll show you like the build that I built to kick its ass easily. So the idea here is basically do things with lower effort. Um, the Shadow Touch Drask has a weird attack pattern and hits pretty hard, but in general you'll actually be able to deal with it fairly easily so long as you, uh, well, don't take too many hits and you stay focused on dishing out damage where it's needed okay if you do end up taking a hit unfortunately you will lose your predator which will drastically slow your timings down i mean that just happened to me but thankfully this build doesn't use pulse so you don't have to time the uh slams you can just kind of go with it i also have uh discipline mostly for the extra crit extra crit rate which i think is very important but um if you cannot make good use of it feel free to use revenant i guess if you like it's uh, honestly your choice but i run i tend to run the uh discipline solely for the fact that it makes critting a lot easier Now you want to try and focus your attacks on one part of the body because recycle is just useful to you. Now when you do end up taking the hit from the Umbral Instability, please use your legendary ability. The Chronovore legendary ability is designed to get you through this part, okay? And again, your job is mostly to dodge attacks, so please be careful with that. Alright, if you can dodge all the attacks and never lose Predator, you'll be in the best position to really uh, clear this trial fast. Like I said, honestly, the creature is not difficult, but um, it has a really annoying attack pattern, so you're gonna have to kind of deal with that. Alright. And if you do end up losing Predator, it's okay. But make sure that after you lose it, you come back and you hit harder. Like if you don't, if you avoid losing it, damn it. I hate its attack pattern, but if you avoid losing Predator, you, you basically get a much faster timing than I just did. So make sure you spam attacks. Try to spam attacks on one part, which ideal, which is the ideal anyway since uh, that is how you get the part breaks you need. Alright? And if the Umbral Instability still hits you, okay, don't hesitate to take potions. Please take potions. Alright? Dodge as needed and focus on one part. Like I said, I know many of you have trouble with the attack patterns, which is why, even though I made this with Predator, for those that would ideally like to achieve a much better timing, um, I'm also aware that the uh, patterns of this creature can be a bit uh, off-putting. So yeah, there we go. Um, assuming you don't lose Predator as many times as I did, clearing this in under two minutes would be possible. That also, if you can make good use of Revenant instead of Discipline, you would get a much faster timing. But number one, I always put Discipline on because even if I'm not very good at parrying certain uh, behemoth attacks, what I will do is I will more often than not just use it for the extra crit rate, the extra 8% crit rate, because um, I find that overall pretty useful. Having a baseline 20% crit rate is pretty nice. Okay, um, in terms of the build that I used, I did not go full Hyper Flawless this week because it was a lot easier to stack defenses because this thing is annoying overall and I didn't want to deal too much with the Umbral Instability. So you start off with the Weeping Hours, right? Recycle Cell, Parasitic Cell. Uh, if you need more damage, you can take this out for Berserker, all right? Um, that would give you even more damage and, well, it would take away, it would take away the, this sort of like self-healing a little bit, but I mean... If you want a faster timing, swap the Parasitic to Berserker. You will still have enough defense in this build, and that should shave about 10 to 20 seconds off your timing. Sorry, 10 to 15 seconds off your timing, um, just by this change alone. Okay, so if you feel confident and 
like for example if you're like me if you're unlike me who does who only does the trials once i literally do this video in one take um you can just use berserker okay um if you're doing it in more than one take so if you fail you can just do it again reaper's dance is your special mod hurricane blades okay uh fangs of dawn will be your bond okay uh i'm actually okay i'm gonna move this here discipline will be your omni self choice like i said i use it mostly for the critical chance the eight percent uh critical chance but if you feel comfortable with it use revenant all right you'll do slightly reduced damage but overall you'll have more dps i mean it's it's really your choice um on what to do with that okay uh scarns defiance for your lantern with a catalyst cell you've got thrax scream with a conduit cell you've got thrax's shadow with a recycle cell you've got malcurion's grasp with a predator cell and you've got striders of the rift with adrenaline cell okay uh overall this build will give you six catalysts for your tonics six conduit because uh, you can spam your lantern anyway um six cutting to pair with discipline it will also pair decently with uh, revenant so don't worry too much predator will um give you baseline damage uh, assuming you don't lose it as often as i do recycle more baseline damage and also this this is what will help you when you focus on one part adrenaline and berserker will be your your damage increases unless you take out berserker for parasitic as well like i said assuming you don't take hits well as many hits as i did and assuming you're using berserker uh in place of it you won't take two minutes and 57 seconds you will be under two minutes more or less even with this build uh if you want to of course achieve the best timing you can use a full flawless build but i leave that to you uh this is just the way that i chose to clear the trial all right so there you go that's about it thank you very much for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe if you get this video to 100 likes i'll be very happy and of course before we go i've got to give thanks to the channel members that make videos like this possible oh and uh one last thing um the new gauntlet season is starting all right i shot this before the update even dropped so i could uh have the video out asap but for the new gauntlet season if you want to play with me viewers would be welcome to play as long as they join the guild that's that's about it and we'll be trying to get the new cells asap because honestly they're pretty okay this season and i think some interesting builds might be possible with them but we'll have to see all right giving out thanks to our top fans uh death dawning 982 at plus ultra we've got jerry fast rogue assassin old mr cream buff and zach mg at prestige thank you guys so much uh in terms of our honored robots we've got Jammer Boy, The Mighty Xeno, Underpaid Enlisted Soldier, Triple D326, Darverse, Cordova2182, Maze, Che D12, I'm Peep, Syed Asad Bukhari, Pringle Bread, Tuan de Gwen, Miss Eve, Valorous, Coda CMF, Kami SMH, Conrad C, Nate the Great, Curtis Shusser, Corey Ryu, Benjamin Savage, Lady Neo, and Greasy Burger. Thank you guys so much for supporting. Thank you to all of our cool and weird bots as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Y'all have fun now.